Okay, so I made it to Mackinac City, but I gotta tell you, Wienerlicious, probably well, one of my coolest parts of my entire trip today. Gotta tell you, I've never seen a wiener that big in my life. All right, so let's go and take a little drive around Mackinac City. Mac, 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 Mac. I can't say Mackinac. I don't know, it's Mackinac, Mackinac. Let's go take a drive around the little Mac City. Hey Rosie, do you know where we are? We made it to Canada. Oh my gosh, we just crossed the bridge. It's really cool. We are now, oh, pick it up. Oh. Welcome to Charlie Grace, Ontario, Canada Diaries. Day one. Okay, so let's answer the question you've all been waiting for. How did she make it across the border? I'm gonna make it really simple. Number one, I have a passport. Number two, I have all of my shot and vet rec, rec actually they're not for me, they're Rosie's. I have Rosie's shot and vet records. Um, really easy, just ask me a few simple questions. How long are you gonna be here? Where are you gonna go? Do you have any firearms, any marijuana, CBD, alcohol? All this kind of great stuff, you know, just be truthful and tell them what you have and what you don't have. And they let me across the border. I had to pay a little fee because I came over from Sault Ste. Marie. I had to go over the bridge. So I think it was like 650 American, something like that. Anyways. Really nice, and my first stop was a park because you know what? Rosie's gotta um, take a little walk, have a little rest, and then we're gonna move on and keep trekking. We're staying at a lot of Harvest Hosts, so I can't wait to show this, these to you, and you can tell me what you think because I really like meeting more people and finding about what's going on. Met a really awesome woman today and her gorgeous little Pomeranian, who I think is expecting. So cool. Anyways, she's into just um, native to the land, which is cool, and I didn't get a the tribe. She said First Nation. I have to listen and, and figure out where all this is going. But anyways, she has an Airbnb here in Sault Ste. Marie on the Canada side. And uh, she and her husband also want to travel with their dog and possibly get a van. Imagine that. So once again, let's get on the road and see what's going on. You know, the first thing you gotta do is you always gotta go get gas. So let's go get gas. When's the last time you saw a pump like this? Oh my gosh. Okay, so apparently I just found out that you're not allowed to take pictures at a gas station. Um, something I didn't know about. 
so I guess it's a $500 fine. Once again, something I didn't know about, but I didn't have a police officer tell me. I told a nice uh, civilian person told me, so I will just be uh, taking pictures from afar. But the first thing you do when you go to a new country, honestly, is you fill up on gas. If you see fuel, you get fuel immediately. I fueled up before I came over, but just in case, let's just top it off and make sure we're good. Everything here is in liters and not gallons in Canada, so I gotta sort of like do a little fourth grade mathematic conversion in my head and make sure I got things right. But anyways, really cool. Got some nice ladies inside. They hooked me up with, um, she's like, do you like points? I'm like, I love points. Who doesn't love points? So I had to get myself a new little, uh, you know, point card so I can collect all my points for all my fuel I'm gonna be spending here because uh, that's what you do. So let's hit the road. Let's go. Okay, so I have never been to Canadian Tire. I've heard all these things about Canadian Tire, Canadian Tire, Canadian Tire. If I say it three times fast, that's just the way it works. Well, apparently I'm gonna pull into a Canadian Tire. Let's go check it out. Actually, I may not go inside. I don't know if I have time, but at least I can see what it looks like. Here we go. All right, so I just got gas at Esso, and here it's $1.58.6 a liter. Am I right about that? Or 158s? I don't know how they do this here. I gotta figure this out, so uh, give me some ideas. But apparently there's a little food truck here called Out to Munch with the best poutine, fresh cut fries, yum. Oh, that sounds good too. So far, I don't know if I wanna leave Sault Ste. Marie. There's lots of cool things here. It's a gorgeous day, stopping for lunch at Bruce's Mines and found this amazing marina. Look at this place. This is the channel into Lake Huron. They call it like the North Branch and North Channel. Anyways, it's absolutely gorgeous. And so uh, Rosie and I are just gonna hang out for a little bit and just, you know, have some lunch and enjoy the scenery. Okay, so random thoughts on the road. One is always check to make sure you have enough windshield wiper fluid because apparently I just ran out and that's sort of one of those things I'm sort of picky on. I love being able to see my windshield. I don't like bugs on it. I don't like streaks on it. It's just one of those weird pet peeves. I'm like, everybody's got one of those pet peeves. That's one of my pet peeves is streaks on the windshield. Um, so now I'm stuck in traffic going, ooh, let me see. I would say three miles per hour but I don't know what the kilometers are. I don't know, maybe like, no idea. Figure this part out. But I'm on the highway, uh, on my way, barely, slowly making it. I'm on Ontario 17 eastbound. Very nice. A really beautiful trip. There seems to be a lot of RVs on the road today. So for a weekday, that's pretty wild, but that's okay. You know, more friends, get to meet more people, do some more things. Rosie's doing really well. Rosie's just sort of like chillaxing down here, all buckled in. And hopefully we're gonna get there. The nice thing right now is the sun sets at 9 p.m. That just blows my ever-loving mind. I love that because that means I have all this time to get there and time to get some rest and time to do some editing and take some pictures and things like that. I love sunset pictures. So I know I just did a nice big sunset jump. Um, you know, it's just fun, just really fun. But where I'm traveling is a long, Lake Huron and I'm on the northern part right now so I just left I think it's called Bruce Mines or Bruce's Mines and I think Bruce lost his mind but not really actually we met um Rosie and I you know she gets around everywhere met the city council people there uh while we were parked at the dock and they were telling us that they're going to host their first big triathlon which is really cool and they were trying to figure out where they're going to let the swimmers go in and things like that. So uh, congratulations on your new big triathlon. Very excited. I can't wait to uh, see all the pictures and watch all the Instagram shots and things like that. It'll be really, really cool. But um, small towns are my jam. I love small towns. And I keep passing by these little Canadian towns that says, you know, 600 people or 1,000 people. And I'm like, yeah, 
those are really tight knit communities. And if you've ever lived in a small town, you get it, right? So small towns, people depend on each other. And some of these things are really sprawled out too. Like, you know, you got quite a bit of acreage and lots of farms. So it's just absolutely gorgeous up here. If you guys ever get a chance to come this far north, you really should check it out. I know I always wanted to and now I get to. Oh, looks like we're driving again. Let's go. start driving you're like hey I'm gonna stop at that place might as well just stop you never know when I'll be here again I'm here at the Serpent River and this is really really cool so you know you just gotta take the time do these little roadside stops and take a look at waterfalls check this out So apparently the word on the street is that gas is cheaper on the Native American reservations over here. So I'm going to attest to that about at least a good 10 cents a gallon. So anyways, check that out when you're trying to get fuel over in Canada. Never knew. Apparently there's really, really big forest fires in Northern Ontario and I couldn't figure out where the smoke was coming from. And then you see it and you're like, wow, it's pretty significant. So yeah, forest fires are real, even up here in Northern Ontario. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and join me on my next adventure video as I continue my travels in Ontario, Canada and take the adventure van on a ferry from Manitoulin Island to Tobomori.